My name is Stephen Smith. I'm a QuickBooks and Quicken expert, and I am the owner of Controllership Solutions, specializing in training and troubleshooting, as well as outsourced controllership services to businesses and individuals, and the owner of Sundial Virtual Family Office, a full service boutique family office supporting the needs of busy families. In this video, we are going to go over the conversion from Quicken to QuickBooks. We recently were hired to do a conversion from Quicken to QuickBooks, and there were a few gotchas along the way. So this video is going to go over best practices, tips, and tricks to make it as seamless as possible of an experience for you. First, Quicken versus QuickBooks. The difference, because there is a difference. Quicken. Quicken is a personal financial software program. It's targeted at individuals and at families and it's designed to track and monitor household finances. Household finances in particular meaning brokerage accounts, stocks, bonds, securities, things that trade on a marketplace. So you'll have 401ks and IRAs. This is Quicken's unique differentiation. It tracks securities and it keeps track of the basis as well as has a relatively elegant way of supporting the unrealized gains and losses. It is the better product for houses. If you are trying to track paychecks, it does a better job of that. It has a preset list of categories such as fast food, groceries, entertainment. Uh, there's lots of graphics that can make it easier to understand your net worth, your spending, and it will also have a couple of modules such as retirement planning, savings gold module, a tax planning module, and a debt reduction module. It also integrates with TurboTax, although I only recommend this for extreme power users since you really need to have very clean Quicken data. QuickBooks is a business general ledger accounting software program. So QuickBooks is geared at small business owners. It is appropriate for businesses, trusts, LLCs, and partnerships. Out of the box, it's pre-configured with a chart of accounts that's more appropriate for business. It does a better job of invoicing. It produces better profit and loss statements. It produces better balance sheets as well as accounts receivable reports and accounts payable reports. As you're growing as a business, you can customize more fields. As you grow further, QuickBooks integrates with thousands of third-party applications for vertical niches. So if you're in construction, if you're an e-commerce company, if you're in manufacturing, professional services, if you're a not-for-profit, QuickBooks is the right place to be. So. When does it make sense to actually do the conversion from Quicken to QuickBooks? Well, let's say you were a self-employed business and now you're growing. You used to use Quicken, but as you grow, yes, QuickBooks is absolutely the most appropriate program for you. If you are, have always been a business, but you're just using Quicken as a check register, or if you're even an individual and you're just using Quicken as a check register, you might be able to, to move and make the move. If you don't have or care about tracking any stocks or bonds or marketable securities, because again, that's the biggest differentiation, then it can make sense to move over to QuickBooks. If you're looking to delegate bill pay activities or take advantage of any of those third-party applications, absolutely, QuickBooks is a good place to be. Do not convert, stay in Quicken if you wanna track the basis of your investments or if you wanna look at the fair market value of your portfolio. Again, that's where Quicken will excel. If you're an individual or if you're a family and you're looking at your net worth, Quicken is the appropriate program. If you're self-employed and you've got personal expenses, but you also have business expenses and you're not the type of person that will be able to be disciplined to not commingle, then I would recommend staying in Quicken, probably their home and business flavor. And if you're a small enough business, you can probably get sufficient reports out of that program. If you think it will be easier 
to switch from Quicken to QuickBooks, I would disagree with that statement. I do not believe it will be cheaper. And if you think it will do more, again, it's not do more, it's just do things differently. So you have to be very careful with what that is. QuickBooks does not do everything that Quicken does. Um, if you've used any of these reports at the bottom, a portfolio value, a asset allocation pie chart, a net worth statement, or a, another chart or pie chart or trending of how or where you spend your money, these are all reports and all beautiful graphics that Quicken will be the better product for. This was the end of part one, Quicken versus QuickBooks, a comparison. Please see Quicken to QuickBooks conversion part two in the link below. Thanks.